Hello my dear friends, in this video I want to show you a super cool picture, super cool idea, I was so like impressed, so I just want to share. So uh, the idea is that we have three different equations. The first equation is an equation of an ellipse, which is x square over a square plus y square over b square plus 1. And when I uh, have this equation, let's actually find the graph of this equation. And the graph of this equation I can find the following way. If I have x, y axis, I can find the, just the intersection with my x axis and y axis. And in this case, if I want to find the intersection with my x axis, I will set y equals to 0. And in this case, I will get, you can compute that x equals plus minus a. So in this case, I can see that uh, in x direction, I will have intersection minus a and a. And my ellipse, in the same way, uh, intersection with y x is going to be minus b, b, and I will have this shape. Okay, it's not perfect one. Uh, let's do another one. Another one is uh, a parabola. And in this case, let's say I have x equals a y squared. And graph for this one is going to be a little bit more simpler. I will have the same x, y axis. And my graph looks something like this. Um, it's going to be like just parabola in this direction. Okay. And my third equation is uh, hyperbola. And for hyperbola, I have x square over a square minus y square over b square uh, equals to 1. And for this hyperbola, the corresponding graph, the first thing I can see, if I will set y equals to 0, I will find the same way that my a changes from minus a to a. But if I will get uh, x equals to 0, I will have that y is going to be imaginary number. So in terms of graph, it looks like that my hyperbola is going to look like this. Okay. So, trio... While this like curves are actually going to be the same curve. The first like geometric intuition that uh, if I have an ellipse, for the ellipse I have two points. It's called like uh, focus of these two points. And that's why ellipse, uh, actually a circle, is going to be an ellipse when all these uh, focus points are going to be the same point. So I can think about my ellipse in this case. Uh, how am I going to get a parabola? I have my coordinate system. I have my, parab my ellipse with two points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my ellipse first to the right. And I will have the f this shape. And let's say I have a focus 1 and focus 2. And what I'm going to do with my next transformation, I will send focus 2 to infinity. And then I will send focus 2 to infinity. I will get my desired parabola. So we can see that how we actually move from an ellipse to parabola. So we just send our 2 to infinity. And what we can do is like this infinity is so weird is that we can send back our 2 from infinity to 0. But what we're going to do, we're going to send it uh, not from like this direction, positive x-axis. But we're going to come back to zero from other direction. So if we're going to come back from zero to other direction, this is our one focus. And we're going to come back from other direction, we're going to get our second focus. And you can see that we move, we got a hyperbola. So we move from one an ellipse to parabola to uh, hyperbola just by sending our second focus to infinity and sending back to zero. Uh, but all these ideas uh, seems uh, a little bit uh, unnatural. So let's uh, actually show you the natural picture why all these three curves are going to be the same. And the idea is really simple. Uh, let's talk about uh, stereographic projection. So the first example that I want to show is the stereographic projection for a simple circle. So let's have a circle and let's have x-axis. And we can construct geographic projection by taking the point on the north pole and drawing a line 
a straight line that is going to intersect x-axis. In this case, I can see that for every point on my circle, I will get a unique point on my x-axis. And uh, the upper half of the circle are going to represent like this region. Another part of the circle, like this one, are going to represent this region. And the bottom of the circle are going to represent the inside of my circle. And why is this true? Because if I will draw a line, I can see that for this point, I will have this, this corresponding point on my x-axis. Okay. So this is geographic projection of the circle into uh, x-axis. And let's find the geographic projection of a sphere. But in this case, I will find the geographic projection of a sphere into the plane. And one thing that I need to mention uh, for my um, pr uh, projection of a circle that I have an infinity point. An infinity point I can see if I will draw my line further, further and further in positive x direction, like this line are going to be for the value when x is infinity. So in other words, there is no like such number as infinity. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw away this point uh, in North Pole. So I'm saying that uh, S1 without, let's say like maybe minus, minus North Pole is going to be homeomorphic to R. But if I'm going to add like a North Pole, it's going to be, okay, so it's just I don't want to talk about these details, but let me actually show uh, my uh, first goal, why uh, an ellipse, a parabola, and a hyperbola is the same uh, curve. So Let's think about right now uh, these two graphic projections. So what I will have, I will have my North Pole for circle, and then I will intersect my point in my sphere, and I will find the corresponding point on my plane. And this is two graphic projection. So in the same way as we did for a, a circle, we can construct this two graphic projection of our sphere. And right now, let me show you a trick. So let's take uh, our ellipse. In R2. In our ellipse in R2, let's say it looks something like this. Yes? So what can I do with my sphere? I can do kind of stereographic projection on my sphere. Uh, it's not really beautiful sphere, but let's do it in this way. So I'm going to do the same stereographic projection, but I will go to north. No. Yeah. Um, I will I will do the same to get present, but I will go to North Pole and go into a like this. So I'll have this point, this thing. And I can see when my ray is going to intersect the surface like on an ellipse, I will get the corresponding picture, a corresponding curve on my sphere. So in other words, my sphere that looks like this, an ellipse on my sphere, is going to look something like this. So it's going to be intersection. So it's going to be a curve in my sphere. So when for my ellipse, which looks like this, I have two focus points. And this focus point is basically saying that uh, I have them over here, these points. And when I have my focus point one, focus point two, and when I'm sending two to infinity, it means I'm just taking this point and stretching my ellipse to the North Pole. So because this my point, as you remember, this North Pole is my infinity point. So this is this point which is I exclude from my S1. So after I'm going to send my 2 to infinity, I'm going to get uh, the following picture. I will get that... Uh, how I should draw this correctly? I will, got, I will get something like this. And it's going to be ellipse. So one, my foci point uh, is going to be uh, over here. And another foci point is going to be over here. Yes. And in this case, like our picture in R2, if I'm going to do a stereographic projection, it's going to be that my ellipse is going to look like this. It's going to be actual parabola. You can see, so you can just take this point and you project this point into R2. 
Yes, and the last thing, how I'm gonna get a hyperbola. I'm going to come back, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this point and turn around from other direction. So in terms of the sphere, I will have that my ellipse is gonna look something like this. It's gonna look, so I will go here, and come back here. It's difficult to draw. Yeah, so if I will look at the sphere from other direction, I think you will get something picture that looks like this. You will have just your shape of your ellipse, which is go here, go here, and come back from this direction. So you can see that all these curves are the same. It's up to stretching our sphere as to. And I think like this is super beautiful. And there is a huge topic about this. It's called like algebraic curves. And there is like I will I want to show you a couple of more examples how we can actually have uh, to explain what is an elliptic curve. And when you have an elliptic curve, how we can construct the corresponding a manifold of elliptic curve. Because all this high division math is just a cool a lot of cool pictures. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not subscribe this to this channel, please subscribe and uh, keep in touch. Not keep in touch, how it's called. And uh, see you soon, guys. Thank you for watching.